Anna Holbrook. You don't. You don't mean that. Please leave this house now. And the Emmy goes to Anna Holbrook. This is Anna Holbrook's first win and first nomination for her role as Charlene Hudson on Another World. She was first seen on the show in 1988. I'm so uncool. Anyway, thank you so much. This is just, before I get cut off, Bruce Holbrook, love of my life, my best friend, I adore you. Thank you so much. My children, Johanna and Henry, I love you. To the writers on this show, Jill Farron Phelps, your fortitude and creative energy have given me something to do. And thank you for that. Uh, David Forsythe. Oh. Linda Williams, I think uh, a little infidelity and um, malaria go a long way. And I, I thank the Academy and a special salute to Rosalind Cash. Thank you so much. Oh. Estate sales? What's this? Oh, I, I was going to bring that up over dinner tonight. What's wrong with right now? Nothing. Uh, nothing. I, I just didn't expect you to be home so early. Are you all right? You seem upset. No, no, I'm not upset. Um, no, I've, I've been doing a, an awful lot of thinking lately, and uh, and I have come to a decision, uh, one that I think is really it's best for everyone. Oh, yeah? What's that? I have decided to put the farm up for sale. To sell the farm? Have you spoken with this man yet? Now, I know this seems abrupt. This huh? is more than abrupt. Guess. It's out of the question, Charlene. Now, would you listen for just a minute? I, I have weighed our options. Without discussing them with me. No, I'm discussing it with you now. You've had a lot to contend with. Yes, I have. And yes. the last thing I need is for you to be going behind my back. I mean, first I lose my job and then my home. John, we can make a new home in the city. You can live a lot cheaper there. Oh, really? Yes. Really? Where are you going to find a kitchen like this? Or, or, or a field out back with, with swings and a barn. And... Well, we don't need half the bedrooms we have. Well, what about Josie? Jo uh, Josie is ready to live on her own again. And Tomas and Louisa? They can live with us if they want to. They, they can no, share No, no, Shirley, come on, this yes. is all wrong. This place means everything it to you. It doesn't mean more than you. It never could. Now, we need the money. It could go a long way towards covering the settlement. Charlene, even if it paid off all of my debts, it would be nothing compared to what you would lose. Come on, you're emotionally attached to this place. The peace and the quiet that it gives you. The memories. No, John, I have my family. I don't need anything else. That's all I want. Charlene, this place is where we met. I mean, when, when we met, I was just another angry vet working construction for you your brother. You were never just that. If you were, you never could have made me laugh and blush the way you did. Just because you were so painfully shy, that's all. We were both wrecks, John. We made each other whole. Just please don't let this settlement tear us apart. Well, that's what you'll be doing if you sell this place. It's only a place. No, it's not just yes, a place. It... No, don't you see it? It's not just a place. This is where I picked you up for our first date. This is where I first kissed you on the porch. You remember? No, I... Charlene, we got married here. We conceived Gregory here. We said that we would never sell this place. We even talked about showing this place to our grandchildren as a piece of the world that had never changed. We'll show them pictures. No. No, we won't. Not when we can show them the real thing. This is too much, Charlene. 
I'm not gonna let you do this. We'll find another way. John, darling, we, we just have to be practical here. The, selling the farm is the only way we have of raising the money that we need. No, you're just thinking short term. Well, this Michaels woman is not gonna let us pay her what we owe in installments. You're not going to sell your farm to cover my debt. That's our farm, our debt. I refuse to look at it any other way. Well, you're going to have to start looking at it another way, Charlene. I mean, this farm belonged to your family. What's mine is yours, period. Not this time. Well, it seems to me that's what our wedding vows say. You know, I am trying to help you. Why are you shutting me out? I'm not shutting you out. Look, I'll find a way to handle the settlement. How? A loan's out of the question. The bank's already turned us down. I have malpractice insurance. Yes. I have some savings. Oh, I'm a doctor, for crying out loud. I'll get another you job. You could work for years without getting out from underneath this. We both could, John. Now, as long as we are together, we can be happy wherever we... Well, what about Gregory? Gregory has been through worse. All those years I was away. What do you want, uh, mashed potatoes or sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving dinner? I don't care. Choose, please. Both. Do you really think that I can live with myself if I let you go through with this? Well, you're going to have to. Look, I wanted to be perfect, too. And, and look what happened to me. You still love me. Charlene, you couldn't help what happened to you. Yes, and you stood by me, and I'm going to do the same for you. I do not blame you for what happened. You will if I let you go through with this. Look, if anybody's to blame here, it's me for John, the predicament that we're in. get rid of the guilt. It won't help. Now, we can do this together. Damn it, if Charlene. We... I said I will handle this, and I will. John, you know, maybe, um, maybe I didn't handle that in the best way. Let's... Just discuss it later, when, when you're in a better mood. There's nothing to discuss. Haven't I made that clear? So you just snap your fingers and we change the discussion? Okay. All right, you go ahead and sell the farm. But don't do it on my account, because I'm not going to take a penny, Shirley. Uh, oh, wait a second. No, no, you've just gone too, too far, John Hudson. Now, this is not my fault. You put our whole future on the line when you took the rap for a mistake that Courtney Evans made. You said you understood why yes, I did I that. I do, I do, but what I don't understand is why you felt you couldn't discuss it with me. You went on live TV and, and you took responsibility for malpractice without ever giving me a warning. Now that, I still, I don't, I still don't get that, no. Your decision affects me and Gregory and the rest of this household, not just you. And, and now, when I'm trying to help you find a way to live with it, you act like I'm trying to undermine your manhood. Now, I... Are you punishing me for being away in Oklahoma? Of course not. No, you, you, you hated me being gone so long. So, I, w what is the deal? Do I now have to, to pay some kind of dues to, 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 to know what you're thinking no, all over again? No, Well, John, it has to be something like that, because you are a dis you're just a completely... Different person Let's ever not do this, No, I know. I want to know. I want to know what is wrong with you, Gregory. I've had a lot on my mind. No, I won't buy it. I'm not buying that. Hi, there is pre preoccupied and there is closed down. And, John, you, darling, are sealed so tightly that I can't find a way in. And believe me, I've tried. Oh, and I failed you. I know that, okay? Failed anybody, least of all me. You have your integrity. You have all your skills. What, what you don't seem to have is a clear conscience. And that, I... I just can't figure out why. When then Michaels died, no, I... No, that's a tragedy. That's a tragedy. I agree. But you can't change it. Now, what about what's happening with us? Isn't that just as important? John. I don't want you to lose this place. Isn't that enough? No. I, I love you, and I will always love you, and I will always tell you the truth. You covered a lot better than you used to, but you are a mess inside. I saw it when we were when we first met, and now I'm seeing it again. 
There was a time when, when you had trouble trying to find reasons to live. But it passed. And this will pass. This is different. Yes, it is, because you're not lost. You have your medical degree. You know, you have a wife and a son who just adore you. You have family and friends who would pull out all the stops What are you saying? That you just let, let my friends bail me out I'm or my brother? I'm not saying that. I'm saying that we can I handle this. I can't do this anymore, Charlie. I, can I can't listen to this. Everyone is trying to tell me how to run my life, even you. I'm telling you, I thought it was our life. Need some fresh air. John. Charlene, this is my fault. Oh, no, it's not. I, I won't even ask you what happened. <sighs> it was, you know, it was just, it was nothing. John and I couldn't agree on... on whether to serve sweet potatoes or mashed, and John said he didn't care, and, uh... It was all I could do to not ask him if he cared about anything anymore. I really am so Everything sorry. Everything between us is falling apart, Felicia. I just never thought that would happen to John and me. Never. Oh, I don't know, Felicia. I just thought that, that John would feel the same way I do about selling the farm. Mm. How's that? Mm. No, a, a little sad, nostalgic, but um, glad that we had it to sell. His, his anger really threw you, didn't it? Well, it wasn't only what you saw. You know, he's just been under so much pressure since Ben Michaels died. And, uh, and then having the hospital suspend him, he was not uh, expecting to lose his income. No, I know that, that surprised all of us. And, you know, all summer he was worried about Michael's leukemia. There's a lot of, you know... You both have had so much. We've been through a lot. And, you know, part of the problem is that we haven't... We haven't been together for, for most of it. I was in Oklahoma for the worst of it. And, uh... And John, I think he just got into a pattern of handling things on his own. And even though I'm back, he's, he's, he's still trying to solve everything on his own. And this... This just creates a terrible distance between us. Honey, uh, I'm sure this is going to pass. <laughs> just that as much as I think of this, maybe as a phase, you know? The truth is that we are drifting apart. No, honey. Yes. This is just one little fight. That, no, that's no, all. No, I, I, no. It's just underneath everything, I feel it. Even though he doesn't say it, it's there. The truth is that I never should have gone away. I shouldn't have, because something happened to John while I was away. And whatever it is, it, nothing has been the same between us since. John's gonna be okay. And the both of you are going to get through I this. You'll see. see. That's, that's John. Hold on. John! John! Come back! Are you going to stand there and tell me that there is nothing going on between you and Felicia? Last night, I don't know. When I, we I don't want to hear left Rachel's it. party, it. it was to come here to tell you the truth. Oh! That even though we had feelings for one another, the last thing we wanted to do was to hurt you. Oh! We had decided to tell you that it had never gone beyond a couple of kisses, and that oh, it John, never Oh, John, for would. God's sake! Look! The three of us were here a little earlier. Felicia, you, me, I think it was the absolute most perfect opportunity for you to tell me what was going on, to tell me the truth. Why didn't you? Because it wouldn't be true any... anymore. Something did happen last night, something that should never have happened. And if you can forgive me, if you can find it in your heart to forgive me, I promise you I will spend the rest of my life trying to make it up to you. You do still have a marriage, Charlene, if you want one. 
you want me. Did you? Did you still want me? Charlene, when we took our wedding vows, it was for life. Well, that was then. What about now? I'll do anything to save this marriage. Anything. Then you tell me you don't have feelings for Felicia. Get out. You don't mean that. Please leave this house now. 